How are you? I'm good. I'm looking forward to this. This sounds great because, it, you know, the weeks can be quite intense and the weekends are even more important, therefore, just to sort of cut off, just relax, you know, that sort of thing. But it feels like you're touching on a range of different issues here in terms of wellness. I know you've been involved in well-being and yoga for over 12 years. Tell us why connecting with nature in this way is is good for us. Well, we lead very, very busy lives. And um, what nature does, being in nature, is it slows you down. It, you can't help it but slow down. And you slow down and you notice the beauty in small things, whether that's the colour of the sky or the feel of the breeze on your skin or the sound of your feet walking, walking through the leaves. It automatically makes you be very present where you are. Mm. And that in itself is very relaxing for the mind and the body. What are you going to be doing on these walks? How, how are they going to be a bit different, Pamji? They integrate um, a lot of the well-being um, techniques that I've been developing over the last sort of f- over 15 years, actually. So it's that uh, 12 years is, uh, yeah, I say 12 years, but actually when I think about it, it's, it's more than that. Um, so I'm integrating yoga, um, so very sort of simple standing sequences um, into the walks. There'll be places where we'll stop and we'll do these sequences that are very sort of Tai Chi style in, in the feel of them. And within those sequences, I'll also be integrating some breathing exercises, which, which are all about, like I say, calming the nervous system down so that we're moving into that relaxation response, which helps us appreciate the environment around us even more. We'll also be doing some sensory exploration, so sort of stopping up certain points and really awakening maybe our sound, um, our sense of sound and hearing or touch, being tactile, and through awakening those senses, enjoying even more where we are. Who is this for, Palmji? Who are you aiming this at? This is for um, both adults and families. So we, the walks on Saturday and Sunday, um, there are two of them. So there's an adult walk, which is from 11 till 12.30 um, on Saturday and Sunday. And then families are welcome to come to the afternoon walk, which takes place from 2 till 3.30. And, and where so are we're you covering be... all Yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> and where are you going to be walking? We're going to be walking um, in Charmwood Forest. So we'll start at Broombricks Farm. Um, and meet in the car park there. And then I'll be taking people on what's called the Windmill Hill Trail, which is one of the lesser known trails, actually, walking trails. So we'll be walking and seeing some artwork that's been installed by Buzzing Roots within the trail and then going into a walk into the fields and into in, really into nature. How uh, how challenging is this walk? Over the weekend, I was over at the peaks. I did a hike got to the top it felt like I was in a Dyson air dryer it was that windy (laughs) honestly like it it weirdly not relaxing at the top because if anything my ears were getting so cold and that's the worst thing isn't it when the wind is just like but at the same time you're right there was something I don't want to say relaxing at the time but by the time we'd got down to the bottom just the fact that that was all happening just made you focus on that moment and be very very present but I wonder how intense this walk is going to be Okay, so we will go at a steady pace okay. and I'll make sure that everything's paced really well for everybody to be able to be on the walk with us. Unfortunately, it's not wheelchair accessible. Um, the walk that we did um, a couple of months ago was, so we do we do try and find sites when we can, but this walk isn't. There's a, there's a bit of uphill involved. So the uphill um, will be taken at a steady pace though. So there'll be a lot of stopping and enjoying the view along the way and breathing and yoga along the way. That's good. It sounds very calm in comparison to to, to how I spent my weekend, um, (laughs) which is probably exactly why I should come along. So what do you need to bring if you if you do want to join? Okay, so comfortable clothing that you can uh, walk in, um, water, um, waterproofs just in case. It is looking dry for the weekend, fingers crossed, but do bring some waterproofs just in case. And uh, Um, go ahead. That's it. And uh, where do the walks start? What time? Tell us all the details. So um, on Saturday, um, April 30th, um, it's an adult's walk from 11 till 12.30. So you meet in the uh, Broombriggs Farm, um, at the car park. So that's, where, that's where we'll start and I'll be there to welcome everybody. And then there's a family walk, which is 2 to 3.30. And then we're doing exactly the same on the Sunday, 11 to, till 12.30 for adults and then 2 to 3.30 for families. And can you just turn up? Do you need to register or can you just turn up? You can register. You can go on the Buzzing Roots website and register through there for an event by right link. But we will accept drop-ins as well. Fabulous. Well, I, you know, I'm wishing you the best weather, Palm G, but it sounds thank fabulous. You. It sounds really, really good. You enjoy your weekend and thank you so much for joining me this morning on BBC Radio Leicester. Thank, <laughs> thank you.